so the only night I went to sleep and I woke up and she wasn't there. It's OK. And usually I wouldn't, I wouldn't really get too emotional, but... It's OK. So your son's name is Deacon? Deacon, yeah. After my great-granddad. I used to call them silly Nana and Grandad, and they got married when they were 16. And they were, they were mad about each other until they passed away. That's a real love story, and they were, they were mint. They were really, like, I loved them to pieces, so... I always wanted to have that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And it just not worked out. But, you know, see where it goes. Do you believe it's possible for you? Yeah, I do. Definitely do. I've had, I've had a bit of bad luck with love, to be fair. So when you say, you know, things haven't quite worked out, when did you first fall in love, or have you been in love? I had my son when I was 16, and his mum wasn't really around. So, like, for the first 18 months, it, were, um, it was with me. So you solo parented your son? Yeah. I've got full custody of him. He's been with me all, all his life. And then I met this girl when I was 18. And she just moved in and basically she wanted to be his mum. It was just lovely. Really, really nice. Um, and why did that relationship finish? She, um, she passed away. She just didn't come home one morning. So, yeah. And what happened? She, she just she passed away? She fell asleep at the wheel. Yeah. She used to work nights. And um, I used to wait for her every single night. So the only night I went to sleep and I woke up and she wasn't there. Fucking hell, I don't know. It's I think okay. it's I okay. wouldn't even usually ask, tell this story quite a lot when people ask. It's okay. And usually I wouldn't, I wouldn't really get too emotional, but it's okay. I you... think it's because of the pressure in the house and stuff. It's okay. Whoa, Can't... Can I, I feel like I'm opening up with you That's guys. Fine. I can't fathom that, man. Yeah, well, it was bad, it was bad like. So, wow. Yeah, it was pretty deep, like. Did, did you properly grieve? Mm. I don't think I ever did, you know, if I'm going to be honest. How long ago was it, Tom? Oh, well, ten years ago now. It was OK, what? There, it... Is, there is no measure on grief. Yeah. And I think that is going to be our buzzword for you, I think, is timing. Yeah. OK, and time. Definitely. But it's also important to remember that the grieving process never stops. No. OK. So to continually be mindful of that and mm. recognising when it's important to take those pauses, this undoubtedly has played a huge part in your dating journey and moving yeah. forwards, because to reflect it back at you, Tom, you've been through some huge traumas mm -hmm. when it comes to your emotions. Yeah. You have been in unbelievably authentic mm -hmm. with your story, unbelievably powerful. If you bottle it all up, you, it just, you can't, it just blows, you don't know what, the, what you do, you don't know where you're coming or going. Exactly, exactly, but beautifully, beautifully said. And that in itself, it's not only going to change your life, but it's going to change how you date. Yeah, it's been a good talk. Really appreciate that a lot. Yeah. Thank we've you really, really we've, good. we've really enjoyed it. Just enjoy dating, and this could be your big learning curve here. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, I really Thank you. That. Thank I you. Give you a big kiss. Yeah, quite. Thank you. Jesus, you can't just chuck that at me and expect decent voiceover. I'm in bits here.